All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a Fortnite montage on Shotcut. Now I have been using Shotcut for a very, very long time and I actually made most of the videos when I first started making videos on this channel on Shotcut. So unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to show you guys everything in one video because it just is too much so if you guys like this video and you guys want to see more videos just like this make sure to go ahead and like the video and also subscribe to the channel make sure to also leave a comment in the description what kind of tutorials you guys want to see in the future or just let me know if you guys want to see a part two and a part three to this video in particular so to briefly give you guys an intro as well because i know you guys haven't seen many fortnite tutorials or just fortnite videos in a pretty long time on the channel i personally just didn't enjoy fortnite for the very very long time probably like eight nine 10 months if not like a full year and i just started actually playing again and i actually really really enjoy this season i'm not even gonna lie and i see you guys in the comment section and in my streams when you guys ask me for montage tutorials thumbnail tutorials basically just fortnite tutorials in general i promise you there's gonna be more coming you guys just gotta leave a like on this video and support this video as much as you can but i think that's enough for the intro of this video let's go ahead and just jump into the tutorial all right so as you guys can see here we're in shot cut now this video i'm gonna be showing you guys in specific how to to add transitions to your montage and also how to change like the transition preset as well i'm also going to be showing you guys a little bit of like lining up shots as well in shot cut in part two of the series if we get enough support and i end up making a part two part two is going to be on how to add your logo to it and how to also add like cinematics to your montage as well so make sure you guys show support on this video for part two all right so as you guys can see here we got our clips already dragged in and already kind of chopped up a tad i would assume a lot of you guys already know how to do that so i'm not going to go over it too much but I do want to go over a few things. If you guys want to add an audio and a video track, video is V1, audio is A1. Just right click in this gray space down below and just click add audio or add video track. You can add as many of each as you want. Honestly, I sometimes I use multiple audios and multiple videos, especially when I'm doing montages. But as you guys can see here, I also have my music dragged in as well. Now I do just want to briefly go over music in this video for you guys because I don't think a lot of you guys understand like music and copyright in general on YouTube. So if you guys are making montages for YouTube, which I would assume you guys are going to if you guys are using copyrighted music you guys are never going to be able to make that video monetized no matter if you hit monetization on your channel or not that's why i would recommend using non-copyrighted music or instrumentals as you guys see in this video right here a lot of instrumentals are not copyrighted so basically like if you have say 10 or 15 montages on your channel and you end up getting monetized on youtube and you're able to put ads on your videos if all of those videos are using non-copyrighted music then you guys are going to be able to instantly monetize all 15 of those videos so just be careful about using copyrighted music guys if you guys have a montage that blows up and you're using copyrighted music you're not going to be able to monetize that video ever without removing the audio so that's why i would recommend using instrumentals like i have in this video or using non-copyrighted music so now that that's out of the way let's go ahead and jump into transitions on shotcut so as you guys can see here i actually lined the first shot up already with my music so i just went ahead and split the footage and how to split the footage actually is you just place the marker wherever you want to split it and click s and as you guys can see here we split it but i actually don't want to split there so i'm just going to hit edit undo split but as you guys can see here this tops this peak in audio right here is actually a sniper shot so i could just match that peak up with the beat drop on the actual song so it's just easier for me to work with but if we play it from the beginning as far as i have you can see the first shot is lined up already Let's see if it's gonna play here hopefully you guys can hear audio and the playback isn't too bad for you guys now, as you guys can see like the shot kind of matches up and everything obviously nothing else is really done yet but what we're going to do is we're just going to make it as short as possible. So after we hit that shot, we're just going to cut it down as much as we can before. And then we're going to right click on the empty space and just click remove. Now I got my next shot up here and I believe the shot is right at this audio clip as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this one and I'm just going to drag it over probably about right here. Now, the farther you drag it along like this, means that the, the transition is going to be longer the farther you drag it along so i would recommend just doing about two seconds like one one and a half second and i'm just going to drag it over like so it's right after i hit that shot and then as you guys can see here it auto automatically makes this little box right here now this box is actually the transition itself so as you guys can see i select 
um, anything it shows like the red borders around it so when I actually select that box it's gonna show the red borders on the top and bottom as you guys see here just means I'm selected on it now when I click it I'm just going to go into uh, I believe it's properties and then we go to video and as you guys can see here it's just the default transition is dissolved probably one of the worst transitions honestly but if we click at the down arrow you guys can see there's so many um, iris circle double iris or some that I use iris box I also use matrix waterfall I would say just test them all out and just use whatever ones you guys like the best I'm just gonna choose iris box for now and if we go back and I don't know if it's gonna play back very well for me because I am like recording and like editing and my PC just doesn't do well with both at the same time but we're gonna go ahead and play it and see if we can kind of see the transition a little bit here yeah it's a little uh As you guys can see there we got the transition i'm actually probably gonna undo so if you guys want to just undo or like uh, like change the transition you can just do undo add transition and then you can just drag it over again i'm actually going to undo what i just did there and i'm actually just going to make it smaller as you guys can see here it's a lot of like trial and error as far as like doing this kind of thing but i'm going to remove that and then i'm going to drag it over again I'm going to remove it and I'm going to, I don't know, maybe, uh, want to be up. Yeah. And we'll, I'll show you guys what this full project looks like after I export it after at the end of the video as well, just so I can give you guys a clear look at what I'm actually doing. So it obviously transitions into our next clip. If we go into our next clip, it is a super long sniper shot. So I'm going to probably actually just leave it cut where it is. And then I believe this clip is, yeah, so I'm gonna cut this one right about here. Cause I think that's kind of like when all the action starts. Now I'm gonna click S. Now I'm just going to delete the part that I don't want. I'm gonna right click and remove. Now again, we're just gonna add another transition. So I'm just going to drag it over a little bit as you guys see here. And it already kind of selects it after, so again, I'm just going to find another cool one. Um, I believe barn door vertical, something like that. I don't know. I don't remember exactly which ones I used to use all the time. Now we're going to go ahead and maybe add one more clip and I'll kind of show you guys what the uh, final product looks like. All right. So we got another clip in here. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and scrub it to find the shot exactly when I hit it about right here. So I'm just going to cut it probably right before i scope in actually i'm gonna cut it right here and i'm just gonna drag this along to right about here oh i don't want to drag that anymore drag the marker you can see i hit the shot right about here so i'm actually just gonna drag it a little bit before and a little bit after just so it doesn't you know give us too much before or after i'm gonna go ahead and drag it in again and I'm just gonna right click and hit remove. And we're gonna add one more transition and then I'm gonna go ahead and export this project and show you guys the uh, final product. So we're gonna make this one, maybe just iris circle or double iris or something like that. And then to go ahead and export, now I'll probably show you guys more in depth on how to export in like high resolution in the next video, because obviously this isn't a fin final montage. This isn't like a finished product at all. This is just showing you guys how to get cool transitions essentially. So if I go ahead and export it though, I will show you guys anyway. We're just gonna go ahead and hit export video. We're gonna hit H.264 H. high profiles is the one I use for pretty much everything. You guys can use the YouTube one if you want to. It doesn't really matter. It's going to export it as a MP4 regardless. So we're just going to hit export file. I'm just going to do desktop. I'm just going to do tutorial one save. And as you guys could, should be able to see in this right side, it should say jobs and it will start the uh, export right here and it will show progress as well right here. It should go all the way up to 100% and then it should be available for you guys to look at. Now I'm going to stop this recording quick and I will see you guys when it is done so I can show you guys the final product. All right guys, so we are back and as you guys can see in this top right corner, it says the export failed. I don't know. I have the full export here, so I think it's fine. 
as you guys can see there's definitely some problems with shot cup they do update the software every now and then so it is like you know managed and maintained i'm not entirely sure what that problem is but it exported fine i found it in my files and everything like that so let's just go ahead and watch it and i'll show you guys kind of like what i mean about like timing your shots and also like adding cool transition and everything well, let's just go ahead and watch it here hopefully you guys can hear it as well too So as you guys can see, the first clip lines up pretty well with the first beat. It definitely kind of like sets a tone for the rest of the montage. You guys can see the transitions are also there too. Maybe not the best, but you know, obviously better than what you can do on like iPhone or Android. You guys can see it kind of just go like that. And then you guys kind of just repeat that process for basically like the rest of the montage so yeah essentially that's a tutorial on how to add transitions to your montage in shotgun and also kind of like how to line up your shots to the audio now to briefly go over everything my main tip to line up your shots is to use the audio markers and also to split the audio whenever there is like a shot or something happens in your gameplay and also i can show you guys a quick another trick for tr adding transitions like to when your shot actually hits so as you guys know like my shot hits when there's this audio spike in this actual video and if like i don't want to like if i just delete this and i drag this over and i don't want to like if i don't want to like move the placement of this to add a transition i can just see this little arrow here i can just extend it and drag it over to create a transition as well so essentially like you could line this shot up you could line the previous shot up and then you could also have those lined up and also add a transition in between just by extending the what either the left or the right clip into the other one next to it. All right, so I think that's gonna be today's video. If you guys like this video and it helped you at all, make sure to go ahead and leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Also make sure to turn notifications on so you guys know when part two of this series comes out. I really, really appreciate all of you guys who are still watching till the end. I will catch you guys in the next video on the channel. Thanks for watching, peace.